Good Monday evening, everyone, and welcome to Western Mass News at 6. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Beth Ward doing a little social distancing ourselves this evening. Governor Charlie Baker offered an update this afternoon on what they're doing for those impacted economically by the coronavirus, as the focus is to help small business owners. We have team coverage tonight on the coronavirus. We start with Leon Purvis, who joins us now with more on that part of the story. Leon? Beth, Chris, Governor Baker says a $10 million small business recovery loan fund is up and running. This is to help small business owners stay afloat as coronavirus restrictions stay in place and impact sales. Um, this fund should sound familiar to those of you who covered uh, either the snow emergencies in 15 or the Merrimack Valley disasters um, in 18. The fund will provide emergency capital of up to $75,000 for Massachusetts businesses with under 50 full-time and part-time employees. Loans are now available and no payments will be due for six months. Governor Baker also was asked about the latest guidelines coming out of the White House today, urging no gatherings with no more than 10 people. I think the larger point here is that whether you're talking 10 or 25, the big message that everybody should take from this is that non-essential gatherings of any significant size, given the contagious nature of this particular virus, are just simply a bad idea. Now, the governor says at this time he is sticking with gatherings of no more than 25 people in Massachusetts. In studio, Leon Purvis, Western Mass News. Leon, thank you for that live report. And we continue our team coverage now. Bay State Medical Center here in Springfield prepping for more patients who are seeking screening for potential coronavirus symptoms. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us live from Bay State Medical Center with more on a new triage center that's currently under construction. Audrey. This new triage center is being built by the Adult Emergency Center here at Bay State Medical Center. The construction actually began on Saturday, and officials tell me that the goal is to try to keep those without life-threatening symptoms of coronavirus and COVID-19 from entering into the hospital, possibly infecting others. They are trying to keep the rates of community transmission down. The real issue is to try to keep patients that don't require admission to the hospital, acute emergency care, and screen them rapidly out here. Bay State Medical Center's Chair of Emergency Medicine tells Western Mass News this new triage center, currently under construction, should be up and running by the end of this week or early next week. Niels Rathlev says they will screen patients showing possible symptoms of coronavirus without them actually having to enter the hospital. We actually can do triage vital signs and determine how to move forward. Rathlev says the new triage center will have a dedicated staff with either a physician or a physician assistant leading a team of nurses. We won't have staff that are moving in and out uh, between the inside and, and this area right here. Rathlev says the triage center is being constructed according to social distancing guidelines of six feet between chairs and that it should have a capacity of between 30 to 40 patients. With Hamden County having its first confirmed case of coronavirus last week, Bay State says they're ready to care for more. We expected that this is going to happen. There is community transmission of the virus at this point and we really are preparing for more patients showing up for screening. Now, of course, the COVID-19 threat is a very fluid situation, but at this standpoint, Bay State officials say they don't intend to test people for coronavirus inside this screening area. This is going to be for triage and for looking at symptoms. They tell us that they will determine whether or not someone is sick enough to require admission into the hospital and then make the determination on whether or not to test them for coronavirus at that point. Live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News. Audrey, thank you. We continue our coronavirus team coverage with Western Mass News reporter Sarah Grinelli. She has a look at how local school districts are continuing to educate their students, even though Governor Charlie Baker shut down schools for the next three weeks. And I know, Sarah, that also includes making sure students don't go hungry. That's right, Beth. Here at West Springfield High School and many surrounding schools in West Springfield will be giving out free breakfast and lunch for any student in need while they do their schoolwork at home. It is work to kind of keep the kids thinking and, and working on their skills and moving forward. 
West Springfield Mayor Will Reichelt says the city's school system is prepared for students to continue their education outside of the classroom. All our teachers and administrators have put together 30 days worth of work uh, that can be picked up by students at school. So principals are kind of communicating with their student population of when they can pick it up. We're working on potentially having on some of these drop sites. On Sunday, the governor announced that all schools will be shut down by Tuesday as a way to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Mayor Reichelt tells Western Mass News that doesn't mean students will stop learning. A lot of this work isn't going to be graded because the state has said they don't want work graded. So the idea is to continue to work on general skills and enrichment and kind of the state has said like continuing learning process. So that's really what this work is going to be. With schools not in session, many students may not have access to breakfast and lunch. The mayor says starting Tuesday, the school will offer prepared meals. Food will be uh, set up in the package in the main location at the high school. Then we'll have buses that will go out with our cafeteria staff throughout town at predetermined locations. And then they'll be available from 11 to 1 for students to come and get food. He says the food program will continue as long as schools are shut down. Meanwhile, many questions still cannot be answered at this point. There are still a lot of questions out there. You know, what's going to happen with MCAS? Uh, what's going to happen with like the general, like if this goes on longer, will that affect anything? Uh, we don't have answers to those questions yet, but right now, you know, school was, will end on June 22nd. We're not going to go past our 185th day. Uh, graduation will not be moved. It will continue to be in the beginning of June. The mayor says he's going to monitor the coronavirus very closely and make any announcements if there's any changes. Live in West Springfield, Sarah Grinelli, Western Mass News. Sarah, thank you. The Hamden County Correctional Center in Ludlow has issued new restrictions in the wake of the coronavirus outbreak, which they say will be in place over the next 60 days. That includes no visits will be allowed during that time period. However, video visitation will be allowed. Attorneys and professional visits will continue with no contact. During this time, they say all offender programs and all community services will be suspended. I have authorized two hours of free phone calls each week for our offender population. Our inmates will also receive three free envelopes per week to send letters to their loved ones. Additionally, I have directed my staff to come up with a process to establish video visiting. We are currently working and preparing on the technology and the infrastructure with hopes of rolling that out as soon as possible. In addition, Sheriff Nikochi says that the PBTA Stony Brook Express buck, uh, bus route will continue to run on its normal schedule, but it will stop bringing passengers to its correctional facilities. Instead, it will be used primarily for inmates leaving that facility. For more coverage on the coronavirus emergency as it develops, log on to our Western Mass News app. Something cool happening right now outside. You see our Springfield Skycam. You actually have some atmospheric optics appearing in the sky as there's some ice crystals in the sky from the cirrus clouds. The light is hitting them and you can see sort of, we call these cloud rainbows in some uh, terms, but you see those atmospheric optics. Cool stuff there on our Springfield Skycam. You can go outside and check them out for yourself. The clouds are building on in. We will see those thicken as we go into the overnight in advance of our next weather maker arriving tomorrow morning. We do have a chance for a few uh, snow showers north and west of town. We're back into the low 40s for our afternoon highs, below average sort of day. You see as we go into the morning commute north and west of Springfield, likely some very light accumulations possible. This turns over to just some light sprinkles, not amounting to all that much into the afternoon before we start to clear out heading into Wednesday. So tomorrow plays out like this morning snow showers north and west of town, light drizzle as you get closer to the Connecticut River Valley. Some afternoon sunshine as this clears out and we're back into the upper 40s. We have a lot to talk about in the seven day forecast, including our next chance for snow beyond this. That's all ahead in just a few minutes. Chris.